guys, how's it going? Hoping everybody's having a good week so far. I'm enjoying myself, as you can see. I'm always trying to enjoy myself one way or the other. Cheers. Right, so today's video is going to be more of an update, really, rather than doing anything specific. Because I realized I've not been working my Virago over here for quite some time. Yes, it's been a lot of things in a way. Sometimes it's just happening like this. Life gets in the way. And I've been working some other projects which for some of you can be more or less interesting depends which background you're coming from I'm trying to keep my channel a little bit more uh, wider than just motorcycles or just paint I'm trying to get into kind of best of both worlds basically whatever can be turned into a good fun and bit of a more interesting subject I'm trying to get on it I'm hoping that works for you and obviously beer I'm trying to get on beer as well as often as I can cheers so um, let me show what I've been up to for the last uh, few weeks and uh, we'll take it from there. Right, so um, that's my garage as you all know it. Um, it is a little bit crowded at the moment and I've got lots of stuff going on here but um, a little bit of update for you guys. It's uh, My friend has been moving house and I was having to move to a different place as well. So we kind of used it as a bit of a storage, you know. Every now and again you need to um, compromise some things. But we get in there, we get in there, you know, uh, things looking better already so far. So hopefully not long, not long we're going to come back onto this uh, project number one for me. Yes, it is project number one. I love working on it. I miss it as fuck. I need to get back on it as soon as I can. Uh, there's still plenty to do. So be more and more episodes coming from that little uh, Virago build. It's all nearly there. It's all nearly there. Just needs little finishing touches to... Uh, to strip it down for paint but we we're on it don't worry I didn't abandon it I did not get bored with it I'm eager to get back on the build and just uh, start riding this baby for the summer see if I can achieve that I do my best to uh, to push forward to this but yeah you all remember this bad boy and I'm still very very happy with it so uh, we're gonna get going get back on it as soon as I can I promise you Another thing that happened uh, a couple of days ago over here, it's, um, yeah, who knows what it is, I guess most of you recognize that shape, yeah, it's an RD200, the most iconic two strokes probably out there, it's uh, absolutely fantastic, it's not mine, it's not mine, and it's, uh, we're not gonna do a major deal with it, um, I'm not even sure if I do any videos on it, I'll do my best if it's anything interesting, but, um, it belongs to a friend of mine who purchased this uh, online some time ago and he's basically asking me and my mate to help him out um, to get it ready for the MOT. <coughs> it's not the best condition as you can see it's uh, it's all original uh, patina kind of bit of rusty here and there but the engine is sweet as a nut it runs absolutely perfect uh, and it's um, chain and sprockets it needs some other things doing it needs some uh, cosmetical parts and and some other things but other than that it's absolutely amazing I absolutely love this bike I'm sure many many of you guys uh, especially the older generations you all had these bikes or rode these bikes back in the past and you know what kind of animal and beast that bike really is even only being 200 but RD is uh, is the widow maker whether 350 was the widow maker wasn't it but that bike is absolutely <coughs> phenomenal. So if I can get any videos on it, I'll um, if it's anything interesting, I will definitely I'll definitely post it online. But uh, we'll see how that goes. That's just a quick, quick project to help a friend out. You know, get it ready for the MOT so he can enjoy this bike as soon as he can. Right. So what else is happening in here? I've got some uh, more projects underneath this cover over here. There we go, this is um, Harley Davidson Vero parts, which we will be painting. I got everything tank cover, rear mudguard, front mudguards, and some side panels as well. Um, we'll be painting that not, uh, not long. That deadline is around March time, but I need to get it ready before that, way before that. So, hopefully, beginning of February, we hopefully can start with this. I've got some more um, Harley Davidson Sportster parts for Dave. Uh, they are prepped underneath. They are prepped and ready for paint. I just need to get them out. The weather needs to get a little bit better. I know a little bit warmer, so I can start some airbrushing uh, projects on that. 
and the most recent project is a uh, guitar, I believe it's the Ibanez. Uh, we'll be painting that as well. It's not going to be much artistic, but it's going to be really cool kind of chameleon uh, two-tone effect. So I'm going to take you on a journey with this. And we're going to start prepping this guitar probably today. Um, on top of that, I got a couple more helmets to paint. One is over here, one is over here. So we're going to get going on that. Um, and that's it for the uh, for the very very near future. So there we go, guys. That's what I've been um, up to for the uh, last few weeks. Basically, uh, working my way through all the projects we have over here. As I said, I try to keep the channel a little bit more um, interesting, not just motorcycles. But I'm trying to get into some different things as well, uh, whatever is uh, interesting, really. And uh, yes, I would love to just get back on the build and just work on it and produce more videos twice a week on the Virago but that doesn't pay the bills unfortunately I'm building it for myself so uh, a little size project like the guitar or the uh, Harley Vero parts that helps a lot to keep this channel going so I need to focus on that because I got deadlines coming on it as well I need to focus on that and thanks to these orders I'm able to support this little garage and support making videos for you guys to enjoy as well so thank you very very much for your kind support well there's nothing else for me to say right now over here other than um, thank you very much for watching have a beer and rock hard and I uh, promise I'll see you very soon